All right, good morning, Cypress Village, and happy Friday to all. Today is July 10th, and you're here for another virtual coffee chat at Cypress Village. Uh, today we have a very informative um, episode on tap for you. We are going to start off with yours truly, Ty Morgan, Executive Director. And last night or this morning, you received a very formal letter either at your doorstep in the apartments or at the kiosk in the houses that are outlining a lot of very important changes that we're making to restrictions related to visitation for families, vendors, contractors, uh, healthcare providers, the entire gamut. You know, at this time, we're in a pretty good place here at Cypress Village. We want to keep it that way, and we want to maintain the highest level of safety possible for all of our uh, residents and families and employees. So stay tuned for that. Um, Abby Kupla from Sales and Marketing. She is also a horticulture um, major, I believe. She is going to do a plant uh, activity with you all here today. Uh, we also have the dining team. We've got, I don't know if it's going to be Brian and Jason and Thomas, one of the three, all of the three, but they are going to they are going to announce what the burger of the week is this week here at Cypress Village. And I got to say, last week's was one of my favorites. After that, we have Brianne from Resident Programs. Brianne is going to give you some updates in regards to Resident Programs. We've got some uh, new and fresh ideas coming out of Resident Programs, and she's going to share those with you. And last but not least, um, we are going to introduce you to Dr. Vera. Dr. Vera is a new addition to Dr. Wagner's uh, dental team here at Cypress Village. He's an actual dentist that we are going to have here on site. So you will get to meet him as Laurel did an uh, interview of him uh, just a few days ago. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy the episode. And again, happy Friday, happy weekend, and take care. Thank you. Hello everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Abby. I work over in marketing. Uh, and a little known fact about me, before I worked at Cypress Village, I used to be the president of the National Junior Horticultural Association. So plants has been a, a continuing passion of mine through the years. Um, so we have some exciting news for you this week. We want to be able to share that um, fun, exciting thing with you with a, a program we call Walk Around the Lake. Um, so I've partnered with Resident Programs and uh, stay tuned with them. They have some upcoming scavenger hunt information in the upcoming weekly programs packet um, with some information on some plants that you can see some interesting sites as you go and take a walk around the lake um, and just enjoy the nature that we do have here at Cypress Village. Uh, there are many studies that do show the psychological and health benefits of being outdoors and working with plants. Um, your levels of stress and fatigue get reduced. Your heart rate goes down. Uh, it assists with people who have um, uh, arthritis and other um, uh, cognitive issues and, and the, just the ability to be outside and work with something assists with ADLs. Uh, and there's proven studies that just showed time and time again the benefits of being outdoors, the ability to exercise um, in small increments. Uh, and so we want to encourage you to go outside to enjoy the nature we have at the community. And I'm gonna show you some cool plants that we found. There are a wide variety of magnolia trees that live in Florida and grow in this area. It's very common in the South. Um, and every good Southern woman knows that no gumbo is complete without a bay leaf. While this um, sweet bay magnolia is not actually the bay tree that that comes from, it is related and it is in the same family. A fun fact on this plant in particular is its other common name um, is the bay laurel magnolia. So we've got some familiar faces out here. We've got some familiar plants. So this here is a wax myrtle. Um, it's in the bayberry family. And what's very interesting about it is it might have a familiar name to you. So the scientific name of a bayberry is a myrica. Um, and if that clicks in your brain because we have so many different streets here at Cypress Village, um, a little known fact is Cypress isn't the only plant that we're named after. So myrica, gordonia, croton, 
silk vine, silverberry, all of those are common plant names that are grown in Florida. Uh, and so I encourage you to take a look as you're out and about in the community and see if you can piece some of those road names with some of these plants that you see here. We'd love to hear if you do. It's not quite Christmas time at Cypress Village, but you can see here on the Yopan Holly, we're starting to get those berries that we see around Christmas time, those bright red. Um, the Yopan Holly is a native to Florida. Uh, it grows very well here in the, the Cypress Swamp area in the wetlands that we do have in this area of Florida. Um, but another thing that ties this particular plant to Christmas is it is actually a very common host for the parasite called mistletoe. So if ever you're going out and about in the community and you see just a tuft of greenery that looks like it does not belong, it looks like somebody just shoved a bush up in the middle of a tree, that is actually mistletoe and it is all over Florida and all over Cypress Village. All right, well, thank you guys so very much for going on a walk with me today. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I really encourage you to get outside, to go out around the lake. So far, we have plants labeled all the way from the concierge desk over to the boathouse. If there's any more that you would like to see, feel free to let us know. We're hoping to keep adding more and more. Um, there will always be more fun plant facts coming. So thank you very much and have a great day. Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Kevin Vera. I am a dentist for with 32 years. I've been uh, presented the opportunity to work here at Cypress Village, uh, which is a blessing uh, for those that don't know me, but I've been a dentist for 32 years. Uh, originally, I was born in New York, grew up in Puerto Rico, and became a dentist in Puerto Rico and served the U.S. Navy for uh, almost three years at NAS Jax. And from there, uh, I stayed in Orange Park, and then in Jacksonville. That's pretty much my, um, my experience in Jacksonville. Pretty much most of the career in dentistry uh, has been here in Jacksonville. One year in Puerto Rico and uh, the rest here. So a total of 31 years in Puerto Rico. Um, I have two sons, Kenneth and Gabriel. One is, my oldest son Kenneth is an uh, internal medicine uh, physician. The other one is an uh, ER nurse. So far they're doing great and they're all blessed. Um, really looking forward to be, uh, be a part of the, uh, this community and provide the best dental service that I can and make you all happy and satisfied with experience. Hi, um, I'm Danette Higgins, the office manager here at Cypress Village Dental. You just met Dr. Veer and we're so thrilled that he's with us now. Um, he is going to Acela, our sister, um, office over at um, Marsh Landing Parkway, um, Dr. Scott Wagner's office on Fridays. And we do have transportation available for anyone that does not drive or have someone that wants to take them. So if you have any outstanding treatment that needs to be done, or if you come in for a new patient exam, we are taking new patients and um, we can absolutely do everything over on Fridays that you need done like fillings, crowns, you know, anything special that we cannot do here. Um, also, we are in network with Cigna Dental PPOs and Delta Dental PPOs. Please give us a call at 834-4651. We're happy to have you with us and I hope you're keeping safe and keeping those masks on. Take care. Hi Cypress Village, it's Brianne from Resident Programs. I'm here for a couple updates from us. First of which being due to the extreme popularity of Hamilton, we are completely booked up this week, so we will be extending it to a whole nother week. Uh, here in the OMR, it's every day from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. All you would need to do is call resident programs and tell us what day you would like to come and see the show, and then we can get you on the schedule. You can give us a call at 904-807-6224. <clears throat> the 
The next update that we have is we are going to be starting a pen pal system for our independent living residents to our assisted living residents. If you're interested in becoming a pen pal for our assisted living residents, just call or email resident programs and we can get you partnered up with an assisted living resident so you guys can send notes back and forth. I know our assisted living residents really would appreciate if you would become their pen pal. So just give us a call if you're interested. Oh my gosh. All right. Next week, we are going to be starting a walk around the lake scavenger hunt. Uh, you can pick up a scavenger hunt form on the credenza in the main lobby. And if you just want to take a walk around the lake, there are certain... Uh, Wow, what is the words I want to say? There's certain uh, markers uh, that are next to all the plants. Uh, Abby made them for us and she put them out and they've got some fun facts on there. So you'll just walk around the lake, fill out the sheet, and then you can turn it into resident programs for a chance to win a Peterbrook basket. So we'll be running that all next week from the 13th through the 19th. So like I said, just go to the main lobby, pick up your form and fill it out and turn it into us. <clears throat> And the last things I just want to mention we started this past week was that the, li the library is now open Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. No appointment is needed. It is staffed by our resident volunteers. And that the pool is opened seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Appointment is required for that one. You'll just give a call to resident programs to schedule your time. If you have any questions or uh all right, well, if you have any questions, you can feel free to call resident programs again at 904-807-6224. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, good morning, Cypress Village residents. Happy Friday and happy weekend to all. A very important announcement via letter arrived at all the apartment resident stores. Uh, they were placed under your doors this morning. And for the houses, they are in your kiosk. If you have not received it yet, please make a attempt to get that as soon as possible. However, in the meantime, I plan to cover a lot of the highlights of that letter now. This will be a longer coffee chat for my piece uh, this week, just due to the amount of changes that are going to transpire effective next week. So with that being said, uh, the letter, the impetus of the letter is very simple. You know, we here at Cypress Village have been very fortunate to keep COVID at a very minimum uh, throughout this pandemic. We want to continue to do so. Our first and foremost goal is to provide our residents the highest and safety, highest level of safety possible. And with that being said, we have to, we have to heighten the restrictions. We have to do more to protect the community. I say that because we went through our first round of employee testing, of which all of you have received communications that we had five employees that tested positive. We are scheduled to be tested again next week. With the five that were identified as positives, we took the appropriate measures necessary, and we feel that that was very, very important to catch those individuals that were all asymptomatic early on before they could potentially contaminate or spread the virus. So the letter is going to be very detailed. It's very long. It's approximately four pages. I am going to try and cover the highlights the best I can. The other factor that is really prompting the letter as well as the changes here at Cypress Village is really the number of cases that are happening here in Jacksonville. We've seen a huge spike throughout the state. Uh, the state over the course of the last 10 days has averaged 10,000 plus new cases. Uh, here in Duval in Jacksonville, we're seeing that same similar spike. We want to be very, very proactive to keep uh, Cyprus as clean as it is. Right now, the healthcare center, after the cases that we confirmed last week, we tested all of those residents where those uh, associates were working. That was 45 potential residents that had exposure to this potential associate. I'm happy to say that the test came back on those 45 residents and all were negative. So our healthcare center at this point 
based on the tests that the hospitals are providing prior to admission and then our self-quarantining of those residents that come from the hospital for, for 10 days, along with the 45 tests we just did, we feel very confident that all of our residents within the healthcare center are COVID free. In addition to that, we had a little bit of a scare up in assisted living. Um, our associates were not positive up there. However, we did have private, I'm sorry, we had hospice care providers providing services to three of our residents in assisted living and memory care. That hospice provider contacted us and said that that hospice nurse that was providing care to our residents tested positive. Immediately, we tested the residents that were ex potentially exposed to this hospice nurse, and those three residents came back negative, thankfully. As out of an abundance of caution, we decided to test all of the residents in assisted living and memory care. We are expecting those results back by the end of the day today. So once we have those results back, we expect them to come back clean and negative, um, hopefully. I mean, that's, that's what we're hoping for. If that is the case, both of our regulated areas here at Cypress Village will have been completely tested and hopefully and thankfully free from the virus. So that is another aspect of what this letter is going to provide detail about. That's private duty caregivers. Visitation in general is going to be the biggest uh, component of what we're going to talk about and the changes that we're going to implement. But I'll start with the first bullet point, and that's shelter in place. We are really emphasizing to our residents to do everything you can to shelter in place. We realize there's going to be needs and things that you have to do outside of what you can access here at Cypress Village, but we really, really ask that if you do leave the property, you leave our ecosystem, you mask, you wash your hands, you hand sanitize, you do social distance, you do everything that we've been um, practicing for several months since the coronavirus has, has become so widespread. Our next bullet point is visitation. And this is, I would say, the largest portion of the letter that has the most change and the most added restrictions to it. Our goal is to really reduce the number of people coming through the main building. There are too many people coming through that are either private duty, vendors, contractors, family members, and others that aren't essentially needed to be in the building, and we need to crack down on that because that is where we are going to have exposure and potential uh, harm. So effective Monday, July 13th, we are putting into effect a new policy that will affect not only the vendors and the private duty caregivers and healthcare providers, but it's also going to affect family members that may have previously been allowed to enter the building and visit a resident in their apartment. We are now, now going to request or require that those visits occur outside the building. There are a lot of details regarding what that process looks like. Most importantly, it's going to be done very similar to how we are conducting it in the skilled nursing center, and that's by appointment. Please reference the letter for the details on how that will work. Next bullet point is outdoor visits. As I just mentioned, that is where the majority of all visits will happen. If something can happen outside, if the visitation or whatever needs to happen interact for, from an interaction perspective or a task perspective for a resident that can happen outside, that is where we are going to ask residents to have those, those meetings or those interactions with family members. Um, all the details are in this section of the letter. Uh, we are not going to allow children under the age of 17 on the premises or inside the building uh, just due to, you know, the, the uh, liability that they present. Next bullet point, security and screening. Not a lot of changes here. What we're asking more than, uh, more than ever is just to be very, very vig vigilant regarding your hygiene. Uh, upon entering the building, we're going to continue with temperature checks, O2 stats, uh, hand sanitizing is going to be a requirement before you enter the building, not an option after you enter the building. Um, this is 
for added protection for all of our residents. If we can catch anything at the front door, we will. Uh, we have stickers that we are providing, as you can see on my badge. Uh, each day there's a new sticker that's going to be provided that states and verifies that everybody that's in the building has been screened properly and is allowed to be in the building. We will close the A and C entrance points Monday through Friday at 1 to 4 p.m. We are only going to have one main entry point effective Monday of next week. We feel this is very important to maintain, you know, a very strict, safe uh, uh, atmosphere and environment within the community and within the building. For those residents that have concerns about that or may need additional assistance to help them in their, their <clears throat> um, getting to their apartment from grocery runs or whatever may uh, bring them off campus, you know, please contact uh, Nick La Liberty and Security or the front desk and we will make arrangements and accommodations the best we can to take care of you. However, we ask that you really mitigate the trips off-site, if possible, through all of the services that we have on campus uh, that we've talked about, such as store to your door, um, pizza delivery, whatever it may be. The next bullet is employee testing. I'm um, not going to get into too much detail here. It's pretty self-explanatory and we've put it in numerous uh, updates in the past. All of our associates here at Cypress Village, every associate, not just those associates in regulated areas, are going to be tested for COVID-19. Our next scheduled test is Tuesday the 13th and we will test all nearly 500 employees. Test results usually take about 48 hours to, to return. Um, we can anticipate just statistically that we're going to continue to have cases of positive employees. The good side on that is all of the employees that we just tested that were positive were asymptomatic. They had no symptoms of the virus at all. If we did not perform that testing, we would not have caught those individuals and we would potentially have had more exposure that could have caused uh, more associates and if not more residents from contracting the virus. So we feel this is very important and it's going to be very, very helpful in us mitigating the virus getting into the building moving forward. Resident testing, uh, which is the next section in this letter, a lot of residents have asked why, what and what are we going to, what and why are we not testing independent living residents? At this time, we are going to make arrangements for independent living residents to obtain testing here at Cypress Village. Any resident in the campus or on the campus or in the community has the option or the right to go get themselves tested at numerous locations throughout Jacksonville. We want to provide that option here at Cypress Village as a convenience to residents that are interested in uh, obtaining that test. So effective next week, starting Monday the 13th, um, we are going to provide this service through our contracted lab, HealthLink Labs, here in the Wellness Clinic between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Monday and Friday only. So if you're interested in providing, not providing, but obtaining a test for yourself, um, please contact your pri primary care physician, grab a uh, order from them, bring the order to the Wellness Clinic, and we will perform the test and they will also bill your insurance for that. Other important reminders, just, you know, very, you know, very globally thinking, you know, the city of Jacksonville, the state of Florida, um, the United States for that matter, there are a lot of mandates and emergency rules out there regarding masks and facial coverings, as well as social distancing. Uh, we really, really recommend and request that residents strongly adhere to those guidelines that are presented. Um, obviously, these will make, you know, Cypress Village as well as uh, the city of Jacksonville in any public domain that we go in a much safer place. And it's very important because we need to not only protect ourselves, the mask pr provide that protection, but it's also the responsibility of us to look out for our neighbors and other residents. So we really ask, strongly recommend while you're here at Cypress Village to wear your mask when you're outside of your apartment or your house, or if you're in 
public, grocery stores, wherever you may be, definitely protect yourself so you can also protect others. And with that, uh, I thank you for your time. And, you know, please, please just do everything you can to keep Cypress Village as safe as it can be. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Loon's Nest Bar and Grill. Today we're going to be going over the Chef Special of the Week and the Burger of the Week. Uh, I'll be introducing the Chef Special, which we have here in front of me. It's a beautiful chicken parmesan, classically breaded chicken cutlet, uh, lightly pan fried. It's got some mozzarella cheese uh, and marinara on top of it, under a bed of spaghetti, and topped off with a beautiful parmesan tuile. And this is going to be eight dollars starting on sunday try it out hope you enjoy it how's it going everyone today we'll be presenting the burger of the week for next week we have a beautiful stewed onion going on top of an all beef patty with swiss cheese to replicate french onion soup on a beautiful kaiser roll with lettuce onion and tomato all right, good, good morning again, Cypress Village. I'm back and uh, just wanted to wish a lot of our residents a happy birthday either today or in the very near future. We're going to cover the birthdays from the 7th, which would be a few days ago. So those are belated birthdays. And we're going to go through the 14th? 17th. 17th, Laurel tells me. All right. So on the 7th, we had two birthdays. We had Miss Skipper Vincent and Lynn Hiller. Happy belated birthday, ladies. On the 8th, we have two lady birthdays as well, or we had. We have Miss Pat Malenke and Claire Semino. Happy birthday to those two. On the 10th, which is today, you can reach out to these residents and wish them a happy birthday today, July 10th. We have three gentlemen. Uh, we'll start off with Jerry Terrell, the possum. His birthday is today. We've got Gerald Miller and also Mr. Mark Waters. Happy birthday, gentlemen. On the 11th, we've got Ardella Her here. We've got Evelyn Kessler and Eleanor Irwin. Happy birthday to those ladies tomorrow. And on the 12th, we've got one birthday, Miss Margaret Kruger. And on the 13th, we've got Ed Rogers, Edie Barrett, and Carmen Von Susten. So three days from now, wish those three a happy birthday. And last but not least, on the 14th, we have four birthdays. We have David Alexander, happy birthday, Dave. We have Matthew Rund, Beverly Stoll, and Susan Meyer. So happy birthday to all of them coming up here on the 14th. Go Take the care, 15th. everybody, and have a great... Go to the great, 17th. Oh, you said the 17th. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, blooper. Um, we've got, on the 15th, we've got Bill Hooper, Howard Weitz, and Martha Peliquin. And on the 17th, we have one birthday, and that's Mrs. Lynch, Mrs. Mary Jean Lynch. So to all of you today, happy birthday. To all of you belated, happy birthday. And to all of you coming up here in the near future, happy birthday from Cypress Village. Take care.